Are you totally sick of the sibling fighting? Then here's a couple tools. If I'm out to lunch with two people and the two people I'm meeting with are like arguing, fighting, they're treating each other poorly, then that's really gonna affect my vibe, my lunch. And I'm gonna speak up. I'm gonna let them know like, hey, this is really affecting me, my moods, my emotions, my time with you. I'm not gonna scold them. I'm not gonna snap at them. I'm not gonna teach them. I'm just gonna really let them see my humanity. I might share a couple feelings with them about how maybe I'm feeling uncomfortable, feeling really confused on how to respond to this. I might even say I'm feeling kind of sad. Now I'm probably feeling sad because like, that's not what I was really looking forward to. I was looking forward to having a nice lunch. Because if I snap in that moment or scold them, then like they probably will not respond very well. Versus me just really showing them my humanity and connecting with them helping them to see like the human level. Because one of the reasons why they're acting this way is that they're just in a really selfish spot. They're thinking about their feelings, their ego. They're not taking into consideration my feelings, how this is affecting me. So now that I share these feelings with them, they're at a fork in the road. How will they respond? Will they respond in a way that actually like hurts my feelings even more, that like minimizes me, that disrespects me even more, that kind of sends a message like, hey, I don't really care about how you freaking feel here, man. Or will they respond with kindness, with respect, with care? Like sending me a message like, hey, I care about your feelings. Like, my bad, I kind of got caught up in the moment. There's a lot of do's and don'ts with how to respond to sibling issues and fighting. Obviously the don'ts are things like snapping, lectures, pep talks, or just ignoring it. Even things like threatening your kids or yelling at your kids, they often not only don't work because they really you know, don't reach the heart. They don't really help our kids get out of their own selfishness and like look around and see other people's humanity, other people's feelings. Another huge don't that many parents do is then they often accept these like really weak sauce, like, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, mom, jeez. Okay, dad, dramatic. And they just move on. See, we're always teaching people how we want to be treated. So if you move on in that situation, or if you ignore this, then you're sending them a message about how you want to be treated, but also how they are allowed to be treated and how they are allowed to treat each other. A lot of messages. So the next time this happens, remember this video and remember to slow it down, slow your mind down. Remember, okay, how do I not react in this situation? How do I respond with humanity? with my feelings, with connection. More support on my podcast or that link.